copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're going to see is the police arrested a person to take him out of an ambulance for spitting in that lot but there's a a, a bystander which says something an officer does not like so he accuses him of being wanted goes hands on puts him in handcuffs and it gets a little bit out of hand we'll just get straight into it and break it down Yes, I am, as you can see. Just fucking spat at the paramedic as well now, mate. No need to swear at me. Back, I am step stepping back. back. No need to touch back. me. Step I'm back. stepping. Keep stepping back. Keep stepping back. I'm moving. Keep stepping I'm back. moving. Back. No need for that. Okay, then. So this officer clearly has a problem with the public. The female officer asked him to move back. The person was recording, and he was moving back at his own pace. This male officer would come out first, swore at the person which is unprofessional and then tells him to move back and pushes him and pushes him and pushes him until he feels that that distance is good enough to me this officer this officer's the main instigator of it all you will see it further in the video but this officer's the main instigator that was unnecessary the person was moving back just as the female officer asked him to do so that touch me again that's class as assault Touch me again, it's class of assault. Look at me, look at me. I'm covered in his blood. That's not covered. That's not covered. That's not covered. Getting in a way. That's not covered. So the people passing by have got a good point. If you spoke to a police officer like that, they would threaten you with a Section 5 public order offence. It's as simple as that. They'll threaten you with arrest if you swore again. This officer's saying, well, I'm covered in his blood. I didn't see him covered in any blood when he first walked up. Secondly, it sounds like this person's having a mental breakdown and this is how you're treating people with mental, or having mental breakdowns and mental... Uh, a mental issue at that moment in time to me that's what this person sounds like he's got some sort of a mental deficiency or is just having a mental breakdown at that moment in time i'm not sure but he's clearly not all there in the head and it, this is how the officers treat him yes put a spit bag on his head so he can no longer spit and restrain him if needed need be this person doesn't seem like he is resisting he did walk with him, but he didn't have much of a choice. He doesn't want to claim it, obviously. Biggest mouth here. He doesn't want to claim his member, does he? Because he doesn't want to put his name to it. So, so I've, got, I've, got, I've got a big video to send you, it's fine. Yes. Want to know. Don't speak to you. I don't have to. Don't have to ask no answer no questions to you. Don't have to answer no questions to you. What school did you learn that at thing? Your school? Yeah. I don't have to answer no none of your questions. No, you don't need the case. Okay, exactly, I know my Okay then, so I don't understand why this officer is the only one which is engaging with the person recording. And it wouldn't be so bad if he engaged in a professional manner, but is not is not engaging in a professional manner. It is actually really childish. The person recording, yes, you are right. You don't have to answer any of the police. Anything the police say or any of their questions, you don't even have to assist them in, in their investigations. But this police officer is so unprofessional. All right, mate. That's what I told him about about the leg restraints. I know exactly what's happening. And then they they decided to pull back. It's fine. Brace. That's right. Don't 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 give it to him. Listen, listen. Don't 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 give him that over the bike. Don't give him that ammunition. Oh, the funny part is he's not your way. Listen, listen. Don't give him his ammunition. Don't give him an ammunition. He wants that. He wants that. He wants that response of you, boys. Lads, he wants that response. Don't give it to him. Easy instigator, he's the one who's been firing at the public. 
So he has it, it, it the nail on the head there. This officer is the instigator, and he is looking for a reason to arrest more people, as it works better for him if he does that. In my eyes, this officer, like I said, is extremely unprofessional. He instigates a problem to get an arrest. I think it inflates his ego every time he gets to bully somebody. But what you're going to see is this officer now target the person which has called him out and was having a go at him. And that's the police we've got to deal with. Officers like that is giving all the police force a bad name. What's this for? Oh no, what's this for? Officer, what's this for? This is unreasonable. This is unreasonable. This is unreasonable. So the kid, the guy which was giving the officer a bit of his own medicine, has now been arrested for being wanted even though it's probably not wanted. It's just his coffer having a reason to bully him a little bit and give him some authority. As you've seen, as you heard, he told him to stop pulling away, even though he wasn't pulling away. He was stood there being pretty calm, just asking him questions. If you look at his hands, they didn't move once. Are you? I doubt it. Oh, if he's not wanted, bro, this is wrong. You're falsely detaining him. Hang on, hang on, hang on, stop. Give me, give me your name, give me your name and then do your checks. Do your checks. No, no, let him do his job, let him do his job and do your checks. Do your checks. Do your checks, bro. All because of the instigating you were doing, mate. I got the advantage, bro. Oh, Even bully the school. Bully the school. Bully the school, this one. Definitely. Oh, Prob it, probably oh, touched oh, by daddy as well. Probably touched by daddy and all. Who knows, bro? It's all intact. He's been touched up. Touched up. That's why we don't like it. The rest of them are being quite okay. So I don't know if you caught that, but that officer just said to the kid, which he just handcuffed, don't give me a reason then. He didn't give you a reason. Is voicing his concerns to you. Maybe he's not doing it how you like it. Maybe your little ego got got a bit hurt, so you had to show him who's boss, like like you just have. But it didn't give you a reason. Everybody there was shouting at you. I do think the guy recording is pretty funny. He probably did get bullied in school, and maybe he did get touched by daddy. But yeah, it's one of them things. What I can only go by what I'm seeing. This officer is a complete tyrant. What this officer is a juice. No need for it. Yo, he lives in a bubble, bro. Come on, bro. Hang on, no, 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 don't, don't give my mission. Just give me your name and your address. Yeah, well, no, listen. Oh, oh, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know. Hey, listen. Who knows what listen. Hey, listen. Brother, brother. The quickest way to get out of these cuffs is give me your name and your address. Prove that you haven't done nothing wrong. I know who he is. Yeah, yeah, why did you grab him earlier then, mate? Sort it out, bro. There's plenty enough of you. There's plenty enough of you. Why can't you, you say to your fellow yeah. officer, yeah. grab him? You're a joke, mate. You don't know who he is. You're making it up. Making it up. Making it up. Don't give him his ammunition, bro. Don't give him my ammunition. So, as you can see, obviously this... This kid here, this guy, has got some sort of anger issues. As you can tell, he's getting wound up. Fair enough. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy if they put me in handcuffs, saying I'm wanted when I'm not. We don't know if he's wanted yet, but what I do is not wanted. I'll get you to the end. He's not wanted. They've just done it as an ego flex, showing him who's boss. We can do whatever we want. And... This kid's attitude and his demeanour and how he's getting angry is going to lead him in a pretty bad situation. That's unreasonable. What are you doing? What was that about, you fucking idiot? You! Man, I won't get back. This is wrong. This is wrong. What's he detained for? What's my mate detained for? Okay, why? Why is he being detained, officer? And this is what makes it worse because every single officer there which has just witnessed this 
in my eyes, excessive. The guy had calmed down. He was just saying some uh, verbal abuse. And this officer was not taking any risks and felt the need to swipe his legs from underneath him and put him straight on his belly. Which, if it was being a, if it was being violent or lashing out, fair enough. But the fact that he stood there and then he took the opportunity to do it while he, he wasn't expecting it makes him a coward in my eyes. To be honest, all these officers are quite lucky this crowd didn't stop him, didn't jump in, prevent a, prevent a breach of the peace. That's what these people could have done. It's under it's our rights to do so. And if they chose to do that, what would all these officers have done? Because they, they would have been well outnumbered. They would have had to get the the uh, their incompacident spray and all that stuff out, all because of the actions of one officer. Uncontrollable. Shouldn't be on the streets at all. For what? For what reason? For what reason? Then? Come on, mate. Okay. Oh, mate. Okay. Can I ask why he's been detained for, please? I'm on video, mate. I'm not doing anything. Excuse me, officer. What, what is this pedestrian being detained for? How did you just do that to me? How did you just do that to me? You kicked your, you kicked your legs, mate. You kicked your legs. I told you not to keep my ammunition. Why did you just do that to me, bro? Why did you just do that to me? Unreasonable. This officer is a. This officer is a fucking prick. Okay, then maybe this person's not mentally right in the head neither, or his anger takes him to a point where he rages out and hurts himself. Makes no sense to me, but. I'm not in this situation. What I will say is the best thing all these officers can do is remove the arresting officer from the situation and de-escalate it. But they're not going to do that because this works out best for them if they escalate the situation so they can actually arrest him even if he's not wanted. I don't know, I think... Has he got disability? Has he got You need to give him some... He got mental health. This officer is a bad officer. He is a bad officer. He's a very bad officer, this one. You are a very bad officer. Very bad. He's the instigator of all this. Okay then, so this person, these are saying he's, he's got autism and ADHD. So, the way the police are treating him could make him explode the way he has and hurt himself. Now these officers know that, they should definitely be removing the instigator from the situation and trying to calm everything down. This crowd, for their sake, have been quite chill about it. But it could escalate extremely quickly, just like it did after what the officer did. What was the reason for detention? Is he giving you one? He's not even wanted, bro. He just said there's no wanted. Stop! Do I want lamping? And this is the officer we got to deal with. Take your uniform off and come back for bang your friend. Don't worry. It's okay. Why are you picking up? Because of you, officer. Because of you. Unnecessary force. You. As you heard, does not want it. And then this officer at the end had the audacity to, after instigating this whole situation, making this person injure himself by headbutting the floor, had the audacity to scream at him, telling him to calm down so he can take the handcuffs off. Well, maybe if you did your checks before putting him in handcuffs, you, this whole situation wouldn't be a thing. And the fact that every single other officer just did bl followed blandly makes them just as liable as you. Or am I wrong? Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm. And I'll catch you on the next one.